How are you guys doing today? I want to talk a little bit of football, as I always do. But today the topic was, I, I had a, I've had a lot of assistant coaches over the last couple of years, it wasn't always like this, over the last couple of years that have really come right out and said things to the effect of, how do you know so much football? Now I want to preface it and say, I really don't know all that much. I, without a doubt, I look at myself and how much I know or don't know. And I feel like I'm still very low on the, the spectrum of knowledge. I look at a guy like Coach Mack, who I'll put, I'll link his channel down below. I mean, this guy is, is loaded with football knowledge and he just speaks the language well, which when, and I call that language, that's just talking football. And I think really, how do you get to the point where, let's say a point where I am, where I'm okay. I know the game fairly well. I speak the language fairly well. I'm pretty comfortable in front of a whiteboard. I can get in front of a lot of people and talk about the game. How do you get to that point? Well, you just, just time, right? We might be in halftime of a game and, and we'll make an adjustment. Uh, and you know, sure enough, maybe it works come out second half. And some of my younger assistants just kind of shake their head and go, how do you, how do you make that adjustment so quickly? And I get my only answer is time. You think about the amount of time, I'm 39 years old now, the amount of time that I've put into studying this game. And not only just the amount of time off season studying, the, amount, the number of games that I've helped in or coached in uh, where you watch things happen, right? You watched things that you've tried. You've watched them work versus not work. You've found a lot of mistakes in, the own, own, in your own systems. Uh, you've run into similar schemes. You might run into something this year and all of a sudden you remember that from 2011 when you had to make this adjustment before and it worked or it didn't work. And you, you just have a lot of, I guess you would just call it wisdom. I liken it a lot of times to somebody who wants to speak Spanish. You know, you can only speak Spanish so well if you practice it 20 minutes a day. How do you get great at Spanish? Well, you immerse yourself in it. You, you go to Spain, you go to Mexico, and you only speak Spanish for six months. And sure enough, guess what happens? You get better at speaking Spanish. If you want to speak football better, you need to speak football a lot. So you study it like crazy. You talk football all the time. And I would say that these videos, making videos for the last X years, has without a doubt made me better at speaking the language of football. Because again, I'm just, I'm talking it. And I'm not nearly as comfortable talking. I'm not to where Coach Mack is yet. Uh, he's got, he's, he's just got more experience than me right now. And uh, I, I got a late start. I was coaching from the time I was 22. That's how long I've been coaching. No, maybe 23. But I really didn't pay attention, start paying attention until I was 27, which to me meant I didn't really get into a, a someone else's program and wasn't forced to think critically about the game until I was 27. That's when for whatever happened, the people I was around really opened my, my eyes to the game and I was forced to begin to, to really learn it. And I think a lot of it too is that I've always just kind of been late to mature. Always. I was late to mature in high school, late to mature in college, and certainly late to mature as a professional, a teacher, and a coach. It, it, I was late, man. So a lot of you guys that are young, getting started on things like this right now as a 22-year-old, heck, a 19-year-old, man, you're ahead of where I was. And there's no doubt that you're only going to get better and better and better at coaching the game the longer that you do it. Which is why, you know, I get surprised when a guy like Sean McVay gets hired to coach uh, the LA Rams. Uh, that surprises me that, that someone would take a shot on a 30 year old. Not that a 30 year old can't know football, but he can't know football to the extent that he will know it in 10 years. He can't because in 10 years, he'll have 10 more years of experience. Same guy. And of all the hundreds of thousands of football coaches out there, and even the thousands that are involved at the NFL level, I would be surprised to think that there wouldn't be a guy who was older, 40, 50, 60, more like 50 or 60, who wouldn't be a better, better suited to lead an NFL program. Now I know what some of you would say, you would say, uh, hating on a young guy. And if you're watching this video and you're probably below 30 or near 30, you think what I'm saying is probably BS. I'm just an old guy, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and if you're over 30, uh, or maybe you're 40 or 50 and you're watching this, you would think you would probably agree with me. And I think that just happens because you can only get wiser over time. And there's a lot that goes into being a head coach. And, and I can only imagine what goes into being a head coach at the NFL level that 
being older and wiser and likely usually as you grow older you get a little more patient with people um, there's probably a lot of difficult things a lot of difficult conversations to be had as an NFL head coach or a head coach of any sort and there's just no doubt in my mind that you would handle those situations better the older that you got so I do I, I get I'm surprised that a, that a major organization like the Rams or any NFL team would take a shot on a 30 year old that that's risky to me you know but but may, for whatever reason that they liked that decision and I'm certainly not saying he can't coach the guy can the guy can coach uh, it just I just I think there's a lot to be said about time and and I I've as I've grown older I've begun to value wisdom more and, and as I listen to coaches that are older than myself been coaching longer than myself and I certainly don't see someone who's who um, I don't see someone who's over the hill I feel like right now I'm just now getting into my prime as a coach that's how I feel heck what do I know hey want to let you guys know I'm moving my videos over to clinic.chiefpigskin.com so I'm I'm gonna post little things on YouTube but really if you want the stuff that I've been doing so visiting places and and breaking uh, things down breaking film down hitting the whiteboard you got to go to clinic.chiefpigskin.com so you want to hear what I really think about RPOs that's the next video I'm doing clinic.chiefpigskin.com sign up for a free account you still get everything for free no credit card necessary just get over there I think it's a fair trade I'll keep making videos you share with me your email address and then you can just we're, we're part of a community you see how it works? We, we build this community. I'm also going to break this down. Last time, last week, two weeks ago, I did a video on 3x1 uh, Loaded where these two were your dudes. But I want to break it down. What would change if these two were the opponent's dudes? What would that change in my game plan? Hey, you want to see any of those things? Clinic.chiefpigskin.com. Sign up. Be a part of the community. I want, you know, I want you guys to see what I got going over there. We'll see you guys soon.